Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're going to take a look at a great product from Katoma. This is their Badger Tent. Now a few of you might already be familiar with Katoma. They make the military EBNS. It's a lightweight solo shelter. They make several different solo shelters. The Badger being one of their newest and one of their uh, lightest weight coming in at 2.94 uh, pounds. It's an excellent lightweight solo tent. Perfect for a survival kit or bug out bag or for something when you're hiking or backpacking and you want a lightweight solo option to carry with you. As you're gonna see in a moment, it assembles in seconds and it's made to military spec, so it is very high quality. So this is the Katoma Badger. It is a pretty small footprint. It's round and you're gonna see why in a minute. It's pretty thin. Overall, it weighs less than three pounds. I believe it's about two pounds, 14 ounces. So it comes in this outer sack here. Once you unzip this, you basically have similar parts to a regular tent. You have the the, uh, the shell itself, and you can see that it's got this band strapped around it. That is so the whole thing doesn't spring open. As you're gonna see in a moment, this thing sets up in a matter of seconds. Then you've got your uh, aluminum pole here. It's pretty high quality. This is uh, Easton poles. They are pretty high quality indeed. And then a few of these stakes, which are pretty heavy duty as well. So let's go ahead and show you how quickly the uh, Katoma Badger sets up. So assembly of the Badger can be done in seconds. I simply just put the, the pole together first. It's just a single lightweight aluminum pole. This is gonna be uh, just basically like your ridge line for the shelter. It's got shock cord built in it as like most tent shelters do. So you basically just extend it out and put it together. Now there is a one, on one of the sides, it is a little bit uh, longer than the other side. So you're gonna wanna keep that in mind because that's gonna be the head of the tent. Now when it comes to the tent itself, it's got this retaining band on it. Now you wanna make sure that you're holding the tights or the sides very tightly before you go ahead and pull this off and keep it away from your face because it can snap right out at you and uh, hit you in the face. But basically once you have this done, you simply just throw it on the ground and the tent is relatively assembled. You just throw it up like this, find your head, which is right here on the shelter, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the longer part of the pole there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this through like so, and then I'm gonna put it through the other end. Now on the end here, it has just this, the grommets that you slide the pole right in on either end. And then you simply just click, clip these three clips onto the ridge line. And your one man shelter is fully assembled. Now the shelter has tie outs on the front and on the back. So I just go around and grab my tent stakes here and put one on either side of the rear section and then I'm just going to put one on either side of the front section. Now you can see here that there is this fly. This can be stowed up and you can see that you've got the insect netting underneath that so you can stow this up and it also has extra uh, tie outs there so that you could secure that in a heavy downpour. On the front section here you have the head section it's a little bit more elevated and again you're going to want to keep in mind when installing the pole that you have a longer section on the head there. Three clips that go along the ridge line and then you have the back of the tent here. Now you see that it has these lightweight poles that basically spring it into shape. The whole shelter is very high quality with the Easton aluminum poles and then you have a uh, nice high quality ripstop. The floor of the uh, tent is 70D ripstop, so it's very durable no matter what type of ground you put it on without the use of a ground mat. All around both sides of the Badger, you have this rain flap here which protects the zippers. And then when you unzip that, it's all mosquito netting so that you can fold that up and you can essentially set this up to be just a mosquito net 
uh, shelter if you'd like and then of course in rain or colder weather you'd want to zip down the sides as you see it here. Converting this shelter into a bug net is very easy. You simply just unzip the fly portion from the outside and then you can just roll this up and connect it and hold it up with the toggles. You can also do the same thing with the head of the shelter. So on those warm nights when all you need is a bug net, this works perfectly for that as well. This shelter is also designed to set on a cot, so it's not going to be extra long. I'm 5 foot 10 and I'm almost maxing this out, so it's definitely not probably a shelter for really tall people. But again, it's made to fit on a standard size cot and works well for that. Also, if you saw my video on the Thermarest uh, Neo Air pad a few days back, it's a mummy shaped pad and it works perfectly in this shelter. Very easy entrance and exit. So size wise, it's really just that, a solo tent. I have about six inches uh, past my feet and I have about uh, three or four inches at my head. So a snug fit, but that's really all you need when you're looking for a solo shelter. As you can see, the bug netting on both sides would allow you to sleep under the stars on a nice night without getting bothered by the bugs. And I'm sure you probably can't see it on camera, but it is seam sealed or seam taped all the way along the ridge line. Give you a better view of the seam tape here. So all of the seams are fully taped, which will keep the water out. So the Badger tent packs up in just seconds as well. You just release these three clips from your ridge line here. Pop out my pole. Pull my stakes on either side. And then it's very simple once you get the hang of it. You basically just fold up both sides of the tent here so that you have it sort of like a briefcase. Then you want to just lay it down and press this center down. And then you can take both of these circles here and put them onto each other. So you essentially have a round disc. Once you have your disc, then you're just gonna squish them together and fold the tent into a smaller disc. Now you wanna make sure that you hang on tight to that because it will spring open. And that's when you wanna put your strap back on and secure it. nice and tight and then it's ready to go back in the bag now it can take a few tries to get this right a couple times when I was folding it up it didn't want to seem to stuff in the package but you'll know when you get it right because it'll go right in here nice and easily just like that so I hope you guys enjoyed the video today taking a look at the Katoma Badger tent it's a great lightweight solution for a bug out bag survival kit car kit or just for hiking and backpacking when you want something that's light and will uh, fit just a single person. I like that it assembles very, very quickly. It's something that you could just throw up and have yourself a shelter in seconds. I like the fact that you don't have to put an additional fly on and it's essentially like a double wall tent. On warmer nights, you can uh, raise those flaps up and basically sleep under the stars with the uh, mosquito netting there or you can cover it up in a rainstor rainstorm and keep nice and dry. I like that it has a bathtub floor and it has pretty much all the features of a great tent built into just a very small footprint. It's cool that it can fit on a cot and it's cool that it packs down relatively small. It is a pain sort of that it, that it packs down into that circular fashion. It's harder to, to attach onto tents and things like that. You could put it on your top lid, for example. It would be nice if somehow it would roll up like a normal tent, easier to lash to a pack. But in any case, it assembles quicker than any other tent that I've ever owned.
So again, my friends at Empire Tactical Gear were nice enough to send this over for review. I want you guys to go check out their website. I'm going to put a link below. They have not only the whole line of Katoma tents, but they have a lot of other great high quality gear when it comes to survival, hiking, camping, tactical, and military applications. I'm also going to put a coupon code down in the description if there is one. And keep in mind, once they sell out of a certain quantity, just like other coupons that I provide, generally the coupon goes away. So you're going to want to jump right on that. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me leaving some comments on what you think about the katoma badger tent below in the comment section below make sure you share this video to your friends and family who might be interested on social media you can follow me on my social media as well and as always guys especially have if you haven't already done so click that red subscribe button subscribe to my channel for more videos here so of course i'm going to put a link below in the description and give the uh, shelter its um, 